Welcome to another episode of the data visualization in D3. Today we are going to work on TreeMap, which is a very popular data visualization to represent tree structures. So as before, we'll add the D3 library first, and then we'll create the SVG in an HTML. And then let's move on to JavaScript. As usual, we'll assign height width and because we want to add a legend at the bottom we'll add a bit of a space for legend now data is an important element of tree map and it's important that the structure of the data is right so the way data needs to be structured and i'll show you a diagram is that you'll have a root node and then typically have a children nodes and then you will have the, the grandchildren and they all needs to be structured correctly from data map to work. Now, if you, you'll see here what I've done is that the vehicles is the grandparent and within that you have cars and within the cars you have individual brands. And then we would be doing a tree map using how many cars were sold in a specific brand. Now, if you don't have the data in the right format, you will need to use D3 stratify function. There are loads of other functions available in D3. Uh, for example, CSV, CSV bars, and so on, if, you, if, if your data is in CSV format. Now, let's make a start building our SVG. So first we select the SVG that we've defined, we assign width and height as before. We're going to use a color, built-in color functions, which is the schema set two. There are lots of options available if you want to do a quick search. Now again, a more important bit of uh, tree map, let's define the hierarchy. And what will what this will do is it will create the overall structure based on the total unit sold of the entire of the entire thing and then it will use that so it will create the hierarchy and then we can use that to create a tree map of the required width and height and then pass that hierarchy as a variable. Now, the next bit is optional. The, this tree map would give you everything you need. Uh, the tree map descendants have various depths. So you would have your depth one and depth two. Depth one would give you the parents uh, that you need, the categories, cars, uh, bikes, and so on. Depth two will give you the child, the actual data that you're going to plot. So what I've done here is I've filtered them out in separate arrays. And the reason I've done that is because I want to use the child array to create the tree map but then use parent array to make sure that these individual trees are how will legend create. That's completely optional. You don't need to do that. You can always use treemap.descendants to call that. Now, using child array first to draw the cells, we, as usual, we create a, rec a bunch of rectangles. Here in the, when you use the treemap function, you get various attributes created for you, which is x0 and x1 and y0 and y1, which is the top and bottom part of uh, the tile, each of those tiles. Now, when I do this tree map, as you can see, it's appearing. One of the things that's missing is the color. So we've already defined function for color, but we need to make sure that appropriate parent is returned. And so for that, I'm going to create a function called match parent. 
which will find the index of our current data element and then return the its index and we we're then going to use that index to color that tile appropriately now i'm going to add labels for each of these using the text as an option here we're going to use the same x0 and x1 and y0 y1 but we're going to use it slightly differently we're going to ensure that the text is at the middle so we do that by subtracting x0 from x1 and then dividing by 2 similarly for y we want to make sure the text is exactly at the center of the whole, the entire tile. So we, and then we're going to just use the standard function text, text anchor, make sure that the text is again in the middle of um, the parameters we've given. And then I'm going to add the name. But we just not, we don't just need name, but we need volumes as well just to make sure we're calling it out so i'm going to add the value as well the value is always at the higher level so it's not part of the data it's a d dot value i'm just going to change the font a little okay now you see that the name and the individual volume sold are appearing in there and that's pretty much it this is the tree map done now if you want to add legend one thing we can do is making sure that the, the space that we've left with legend we're going to utilize that um it's really a, a duplication of what we've done here is just taking the same colors and the same text but uh instead of using child array we're going to use parent array so I'm not going to type all of that. So what I've done here is created another, a G at the bottom, which will ensure that we have a separate section for the legend. And then I'm going to utilize the space that left be be below this tree map to populate the legend. And I'm just going to duplicate the text element from the above, just making sure that this time I use parent array and then use that to display the legend squares you'll notice different parameters used for width and height and that's your tree map and legend done we can use the same hierarchy to create some other charts like sunbird chart we'll cover that in the next episode please keep watching like and subscribe thank you